97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Politicals on City TV. My name is Umaru Sanda Amado. So this week, what are we looking at? Anas Sarimi Anas has asked more people because the Judicial Council has just released a list of 19 people who have been dismissed for various offenses in the that judicial expose that we saw Anas investigate somewhere last year. We'll discuss that shortly. Also, the Ivory Coast attacks this week, over nine, over 20 people actually were killed in that attack at the Grand Bassam. What does it mean for security in Ghana? Because we seem to be in the middle of a lot of activity. Terrorist attacks in Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Mali, and now Ivory Coast. What does that mean for our own security? That's up for discussion on politicals. <laughs> So this week, we are get, just getting information from the Judicial Council of Ghana that some 19 persons have been dismissed. This is in relation to the investigation conducted by investigative journalist Anas Ayumi Anas and his Tiger IPI. We know some judges have been sent home. Some other high-ranking officials of the Judicial Council have been sent home. Now other more people, 19 of course, have been, 19 for that matter, have been sent home. What are their specific offenses and what kind of people are these? Fred Jabano is a man who has been going to the court and he joins us now. So Fred, what, what kind of people have been sacked in this latest uh, 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 information that we are getting from the Judicial Council? Okay, Sandra, Sandra these are people who work with the Judicial Service. They are Judicial Service workers. Um, most of them belong to JUSAC. Um, they include registrars, clerks, um, cleaners and um, security men. Um, these people are said to be part of this whole scandal. They played various roles in the exchange of monies in this uh, whole judicial uh, bribery and corruption scandal. But is that how desperate it looks in the court when people want justice through the back door so that they would have to go approach people as remote as a cleaner in the court or a messenger or a watchman? Um, Sandra, you shouldn't even limit this to only the court. Um, when people are desperate for something, they go every length to ensure that they get it. So I'm not surprised people would even go and see a security man or a cleaner to facilitate uh, something for them to see a judge to get their case thrown out or their case solved. So we know the statement have been coming in bits and we've been seeing the dismissals in bits. This is like one of the bits. Are we expecting more? Should we expect more to go home or that's the end of it? Um, as we speak now, there's also a, a, a team, an investigative committee looking into the issue which has to do with the High Court judges. That matter hasn't been dealt has not with. Been settled, yes. yes. Okay. So, I mean, we are still expecting the Judicial Council to come out with more uh, uh, reports after this, whether they are going to dismiss people, suspend people, or even get people exonerated in the whole matter. Thank you very much, Fred. Tete Jabano is a man who has been going to the courts. He's bringing us a story about the 19 judicial staff who have been sent home for various crimes in relation to that investigation exposé by Anas Arimi Anas and his Tiger IPI team. So this week, some terrible news coming from our western neighbor, Ivory Coast. Over 20 people were killed at a beach resort, the Grand Bassam. Okay, so this is coming a few weeks after the attack in Burkina Faso, and we know Mali is almost always in some fight, running battle with the guys from the Western Sahara area. We know Nigeria's Boko Haram is also causing mayhem in the northern part of that country. This is West Africa. Ghana is in the middle. We seem to be watching. Are we prepared? Are we ready? First of all, let's talk about the Grand Bassam. So Duke Mensah Opoku is a man who has been following that story. Duke. What, what was the nature of the attack in Ivory Coast, first of all? Uh, it, was, it was on a Sunday um, afternoon, um, beach goers or holiday makers relaxing on the beach and all of those things. And that's it. It's, it's some sort of a seaside town, seaside resort with a prominent hotels such as Etoile du Sud. There were a lot of French coming and flocking to make merry and enjoy their Sunday. This so, is a familiar scene in Accra, yes, isn't it? Yes, I mean, I don't want to mention the names of some beaches, but it's something that, that happens on a normal weekend like that. So it is in the midst of this that uh, members, I mean now they've claimed responsibility for it, Al-Qaeda in the Maghreb struck and then killed people. It, 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 it is, I mean if you watch the footage, it's a very sad scene. People running and for their lives and all of them, still people being shot and all. What has the Ivorian government said? 
Well, the Ivorian government so far says that the count, I mean, as I now, the count of the people that are dead are hovering over um, 20 people, and the people who also suffered from very serious injuries are also losing their lives as a result of that. So, why should Ghana be concerned about this? Ghana should be concerned because of the fact that uh, in recent times, as you said earlier on, um, Radisson Blue in Bamako was hit, Splendid Hotel in Burkina Faso was also hit, and then the latest, Grand Bassam. So, it, it, it means that um, terrorism is a potent threat to the peace and security of the sub-region is so in connection uh, in accordance with um, assessing the threats. The National Security Council um, was summoned by the president here to held briefings and uh, from what we get um, security has been stepped up but of course um, certain security analysts in the country uh, people like uh, Dr. Kusien and others have, have, have actually questioned the preparedness in terms of security that the country uh, measures that the country has put in place in, 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 um, in times of attacks okay. like, like this. I okay. mean, and the whole mysterious nature of security and the fact that intelligence should be kept away from the public according to people like them i mean shrouds the whole thing in secrecy and prevents the ordinary man from being able to key into preventing some of these attacks all right thank you very much duke mensa opoko so that's what is happening in ivory coast ghana has not been attacked and we are praying and looking forward to an attack free ghana in the coming years but even though many more countries our neighbors have been attacked well, that's how we end this edition of Politicals on City TV, which is a weekly news wrap of the topical issues of the week. My name is Umaru Sanda Amadou. Join us again same time next week. Let's analyze the big issues for you.